I'm going to request the panelists to stay on stage and once again audience requesting you to stay right where you are because we're about to unveil the logo and this ladies and gentlemen will be the official launch of this fantastic project and the product which will revolutionize the way we look at television requesting all of you all once again to stay right where you are all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of day two. Can we hear some energy? Can we hear you? Please make some noise. Put your voices together. Make some noise. This is day two of Z Melt. This is the 360 degree stage requesting the logo to move to the center of the stage. Requesting the logo to move to the center of the stage. Like I said, this is day two. We're coming to the end of Z Melt. Tomorrow will be the awards. Gentlemen, I'm gonna step on stage with you. Ladies and gentlemen, can I request you to kindly rise up to your feet? Kindly rise up to your feet. You're gonna help me count continuing on this journey of innovations. Showwaves proudly presents the Showwaves TV automation platform. Requesting the lights to go out and requesting the audience to kindly train your eyes to the screen once the logo is off. Is success the culmination of doing what you do and continue doing that or experimenting, navigating and discovering what could be next? Shaping the ideas with the power of insight, molding them on the back of innovation, and realizing the dream with technology. We prod the brave minds to take the leap. A leap to grasp what's next. What's next, you ask? A melange of superior intelligence with the world's biggest medium. Genesis of a new era. The next is Shawwave's TV automation platform. A revolutionary artificial intelligence innovation that not only optimizes, but also cuts through the complexity of TV ad buying and selling. Making it simple, yet efficient and accountable. Increasing the velocity of your business like never before. A multifarious platform designed for broadcasters and advertisers to tango in complete sync, allowing them plenary control and command only imagined. Turning billions worth of data into tangible insights, converting these insights into winning deals, executing, evaluating, course correcting on the go, all in a matter of reflexes. Removing the drudgery of the mundane and bringing about a digital transformation for all stakeholders to collaborate seamlessly, analyzing, forecasting, and steering multifaceted operations with a simple dashboard. A single point vista to view both the macros and the micros of your business. Turning the proverbial lead into gold. Making the impossible possible. That's the power of simplicity. That's the power of Shawwave's TV automation platform. Television advertising simplified. Ready for your next revolution? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request Mr. Raj Kare, founding chairman of Shorewaves Media Tech, to kindly take the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for him while he takes the stage. I'm privileged to, you know, uh, be to, uh, unveiling Showways Television Automation Platform amongst, you know, the intelligentsia of the media industry, the heavyweights who just kind of, you know, uh, undecoded all the problems that, you know, problem and what the direction the industry should take. Uh, James gave a, you know, a, such a expansive view of how the television, the largest market in the world, how it is trying to evolve, and what are the challenges being solved. And Paritosh, you know, really dig deep, you know, he really needled all the stakeholders as to what could be next. Now, while all this is happening, 
uh, you know, one good satisfaction that we have is that while all these problems have been, you know, you know evolving, uh, somewhere sitting uh, in uh, Bangalore, a bunch of technologists have actually been resonating with all the problems okay, that have been spoken about. So somewhere you know, we feel a little validated that the problems uh, or the solutions that the US industry is looking at and some of the you know, modest efforts that we have put towards building a technology platform, somewhere there's a convergence. Of course, it's a process of co-creation. Uh, co so I would like to give a, you know, take this occasion to uh, give a small glimpse of what this platform is about. Of course, it's, it's a very you know, expansive thing, but in the next uh, five to uh, seven minutes, I'd just like to give a small trailer as to what this platform is all about. And of course, we, are, we should be actually conversing more. It's a process of co-creation. Okay? It's a process of co-creation between the broadcasters, the data people, the agencies, and all the stakeholders, that how can we solve industry problems to, uh, together to, to make the industry grow. Okay. So here, yeah. Uh, what we would say is this uh, platform is nothing but our deep desire okay, to add some value to the ecosystem by trying to simplify things. Okay. It's all about simplifying because what we've seen is that there is there's so much disruption happening in the market. At the other end, we have, you know, uh, Paritosh talked about that Netflix became the number one entertainment company in the large market there. Uh, yesterday, I was attending uh, Martin Sorel's uh, interview, and he was talking about the seven sisters, how they become so large. Uh, seven sisters, the Googles, the Facebooks, the the you know, Amazons and the Chinese companies, all of them, how large they have become. So today, for the largest medium in the world, there is a real challenge, okay? Uh, it was the undisputed king for a long time without any doubt, okay? But today, the, there's some amount of reinvention that needs to happen, uh, and when that is to happen, we just saw that there's a marriage needs to happen between data, okay? Needs to have automation, needs to have you know, the business rules. Now all these need to come together and they need to come together at speed. Okay? So our mission is to simplify so that it can help the business grow. Okay? The more acceptance, simple things get accepted better and that's what this whole platform is about. So before I talk about further, uh, you know, how do we simplify things? Well, uh, today, you know, if anything has to be simplified, you know, the technology keeps advancing, the state of the art keeps advancing, and if today we're talking about any serious attempt at simplifying things, it's got to be around AI. Okay. It is artificial intelligence first world. Okay. That's the next decade that we're entering into. You know, uh, that's what the business leaders around the world are saying. And all of us, okay, uh, we have our own debates about okay, artificial intelligence is good or it is a killer. Okay. But however, the fact of the matter is that today, in all of our lives, okay, artificial intelligence is touching us every day, every day. Okay. So now, here when we're talking about putting artificial intelligence to work, okay, that's the best way to really simplify things, but the only caveat is that it should work. The intelligence has to work at the command of the orchestrator. Okay. So it is not that the, uh, the, uh, as long as we can manage to do that, the objectives are different. Objectives across the food chain are different. An agency wants to have better yield for what monies they invest. And broadcasters want to have great revenue. Okay, now, all of these problems, the optimization engine needs to really listen to the command that's being given and help solve the problems for the respective stakeholders. So this is the backbone. This is what is behind really running at the layer of the platform. Um, and what we do here is that we have attempted to see that understand the entire food chain. Over, uh, we are fortunate that last uh, about six to seven years, we have been very intimately working with the uh, television ecosystem. And uh, understanding the media okay, is the first thing. Now, uh, I mean, the, the, the industry is a very, very different industry. Now, this industry, once you understand it, okay, then comes the step of how do we understand what the complexities are, what is it that's slowing it down, and uh, unless the solution is holistic, uh, I would say that there are solutions, there are practices which are working together in pockets. 
Okay. But the need of the hour is that can we uh, traverse the entire journey okay, end to end? And I think uh, Paneet was just having, uh, having a conversation a uh, few minutes before the, uh, uh, the session. And he's saying it's all about getting end to end automation. You can't have an automation which works in pieces and then the two cannot talk to each other. So this journey is about going all the way where deals are getting made to all the way till the invoices and make it happen on an autopilot. While it happens on an autopilot, important things is that things remain in full control okay, with the stakeholders. Okay. Our stakeholders, I mean, say, let the hard work be done by the platform, but when the decision, critical decisions have to be made, judgments have to be added, the, that should be in the full control, just like the, an autopilot works. Okay. That's how the, the concept behind this particular platform. Um, I'd like to take a, give a few glimpses of the platform, so we, we, no, no, we're not really talking, we see that what is inside it. Okay, so I just picked up one of the problems here, uh, which you know, uh, audience here uh, will uh, definitely you know, empathize with. Uh, we're talking about a problem, you know, uh, I mean, say, as far as the agencies are concerned, the buyers are concerned, for them, building an optimum plan is the ultimate thing. You know, I mean, that's, that's a beginning point, that you build a plan which is absolutely optimum. So building it for one market itself is challenging. Whenever you have such a fragmented ecosystem, you have hundreds of television channels, thousands of programs, you know, all having different audience uh, profiles, different performances, how do you build the most optimum plan? If you just want, don't want to replicate what you used the last time, that's a very, very intense problem. But on the same time, you can do it for one market, you know, the problem becomes far more interesting and complicated when you have to optimize across markets because of the spillover effects. Okay? You optimize for one market, and that spoils all the planning that you've done for the other one. You do that, it comes back. So it's like juggling multiple balls on a complex problem already. So let's take a look how the Showbiz Television Automation Platform tries to solve the same problem. Hi all, I'm Nishant, media planner at Media Glaze, and I need to build a multi-market plan for Bisco Foods for its brand, Ota. I log into Surewave's TV automation platform. I can see my currently running campaigns. However, right now, let's just get on to creating my new campaign. I feed in my campaign details, such as the advertiser's name, the brand name, the start and end date of the campaign. Select the target audience for the campaign and the pre-eval period for the campaign. Next, I select the markets one by one. I enter my edits for the market and can also specify a date range for airing each edit. I provide the GRP, the prime time allocation, any specific genres to be selected and its required GRP percentages. Also, I can select my preferred programs or RODP that is a must include in the plan. That's about it. I sit back, relax and sip my coffee. Wow! And here is the complete plan summary. In addition, the platform enables me to send the plan for client's approval, release arrows to the broadcaster, track campaign performance, record and map make goods for easy reconciliation, remove complexity, achieve agility with Surewave's multi-market planning optimizer. Yeah. So, so we saw, incidentally, Nishant also happens to be the, my colleague. So his name, uh, I mean, say he's the one who's behind us, uh, you know, taking it to clients. So we chose his name. Now, uh, we talk about the problem that what the buy buyers are facing. On the other hand, for the broadcasters. Now, broadcasters on the other side of the, the food chain, now, when there is a, you know, uh, Shashi talked about those negotiations which are happening on based on supply and demand and value, now, when that equation has to be solved, now, there has to be an intelligence applied to how the broadcasters want to construct the deal. And in real time, in time, you know, in, in short time. So, here, we like to show how the deals 
between the two sides, the stakeholders can actually happen through the platform. The channel sales manager's dashboard helps her keep track of all her deals. She can view the deals at various stages of deal making on a single screen, be it the upfront deal or the scatter deal. She can dig into the details at the click of a button. The Surewaves TV automation platform makes the execution of a deal a breeze. The platform facilitates the deal negotiations between the buyer and the sales manager, helps the network strategy team to generate the deal grid every month based on terms of the deal and the available inventory tracks the deal consumption for the operations team and finally the accounts team can generate the invoices for orders against the deal streamlining workflow and amplifying productivity Surewave's TV automation platform does it all so uh, I may say uh, people who are responsible for execution of deals not only negotiating the, uh, a 12 month deal how difficult it can get to really track the consumption actually and actually uh, create those uh, you know, the make goods, the short, for, uh, shortfall in performance, all of that, if it is done to be done, done manually, it can get extremely challenging. So this is a platform which actually facilitates all of that to happen on a, in, in sync as the campaign is progressing and keeps suggesting corrective actions. Not only does it help you to make the first uh, offering, but actually helps optimize the schedules, helps optimize the make goods, the ADUs, all of that. So that's all is the intelligence built into the platform. Uh, well, you know, uh, we talked about the two sides, you know, uh, having operational transactions. Now, but let's see, for a business leader, okay, and I recall a discussion with Paritosh some time back, and, you know, uh, some of these ideas that he got born out of that, is that how do I keep a hawk's eye on my business, okay? This is a business, you know, complicated enough, okay? Uh, for a broadcaster, I recall our discussion about the perishable inventory, perishable premium inventory, and this inventory is, you know, thousands and thousands of transactions happening, you know, with different customers. There are 10,000 advertisers, you know, in our, our small market, but 10,000 advertisers who are buying inventory. Now, all of them being sold at different price points, okay? And ideally, when you want to uh, optimize on supply and demand, you want to have dynamic pricing, which can actually uh, manage it all. So in such a complex system, how does one keep control of the, of the, of the business, okay? So let's take a look at... What is it that the Shorewaves Television Automation Be Platform provides? Be at the top provides? of your game with Shorewaves Dashboard. Track the revenue book to date or get a feel of the revenue predicted for the rest of the year or deep dive into the revenue by regions and advertisers all through a single pane. Want to get a quick view of how your business is performing against last year or last quarter? Here it is. Know exactly what you have sold to each advertiser in each quarter, either for a specific channel or the entire network enabling you to identify and understand top customers better. To optimize the inventory and better understand demand, track the fill rates for all your orders. Analyze the FCT and impressions consumed till date and also get the predictions for the rest of the year for both the upfront deals and the scatter deals. Check the heat map for the network share you enjoy in each market and more importantly, its performance against competition. View the average CPM and CPRP rates by advertisers and by markets. Now, that's called keeping a hawk's eye into your business on the go. Yeah, so this is a platform which is actually already talks about the CPT and the CPRPs and the interchangeability between that because at some point of time, when there is cross-media happening, you know, the currencies are going to converge at some point of time. So the platform is kind of geared to marry these two con uh, currencies together. So all in all, what you're saying is that broadcast is a business which is, you know, broadcast happens so fast. Why can't the business of broadcast also happen at the speed of broadcast? Well, that's the, the conception behind this platform. So we're building the highways for information to flow seamlessly across the buyers and sellers and within the organization, within the, you know, each uh, seller's organization, there are so many stakeholders. How does the information flow seamlessly between them, amongst them? and also in the buying, buying organization. Um, so, uh, in, in a way, what we're talking about is digital transformation. Okay, now, this is the ideal case for digital transformation, actually industries, all, all industries, you know, it's just not the broadcast industry, but all industries across are trying to, uh, you know, really try to catch up with digital transformation. And here is a platform which can make that journey very, very simple. Uh, you know, uh, what I've heard from stakeholders is that any information in the uh, television, the information, same information is entered by n number of people 
10 to 12 times in different places and they don't correlate. Now, this is a platform where you put the information once, seed once, and reap always across the life cycle of the campaign now or any time later, you are actually able to track what's, what's the information doing means to you and in fact all stakeholders. Now everybody gets a view of what is relevant to them. To their CEO, he's interested in a certain part and a scheduler is interested in some, some, some other part. Somebody else is reconciling. So all of that, those views are provided in the platform for the respective uh, stakeholders. Uh, so just before we end, uh, this is one of those uh, you know, uh, fancies would say, that how a television world of the future should look like. Okay? Uh, it, will, it will actually probably, you know, uh, it's a fantasy that people will uh, start ruminating that once upon a time, we used to use spreadsheets. Uh, today, the, all the business, now everyone, you know, just, just churning spreadsheets, trying to complicate them, trying to build macros, but those spreadsheets don't talk to each other. Okay, if an effective solution has to be found, it has to be found by something which just flows seamlessly. Okay? So this is a, a fantasy. Or I, I mean, say we don't know when uh, things like this actually will get realized. But okay. Uh, so before I end the uh, you know uh, short session we have, uh, a couple of lines which I happened to write some time back, I find it relevant for the talk today. Uh, it goes like this: Seats are blessed obscure and small. They hide a future lush, green and tall. Lucky are some, sown with love and watered with hope, reaching their heights, they make the globe. So are ideas, tiny, invisible, within the mind, lying curled. Like the seeds, some will languish, some will change the world. Thank you.